gather round for the first ever colony funeral. Ode to chicken who gave their life for fun. Fat Larry, you can't just throw them on the fucking floor. <laughs> <clears throat> like I was saying, O2 Chicken, our first loss. Or maybe not, in hindsight, I think some people died earlier. It doesn't matter too much. Our first loss, but the greatest of all of us. They who gave their lives. Fat Larry's not hanging around. <laughs> they who gave their lives for big profits and big money have been interred in the most honorable way possible. The highest civilian honor this here settlement can offer. Burial within the diamond sarcophagus hewn from the walls of Legal Lee's diamond palace. Maybe, just maybe, if some of that budget had gone to better armor, we wouldn't be in this situation, but that's just not good business. Hello, everybody. What a terrible day for rain. And welcome to this here tragic day on Rim Rim World, where yesterday we were raided not once, not twice, not three times or four times, but in fact, you guessed it. That's right, less than six times. Chicken gave their life to defend this colony, and so did many of our settlement allies. One of which is leaving now after we patched him up. Uh, I did, however, steal his clothes, and legally has a lovely new set of armor. <laughs> Sacrifice the goodwill of our own people. Legally's legal volunteers have never felt worse about this situation. We're going to have to ensure a little bit of loyalty here before we have a full-on rebellion on our hands. And we need a replacement for lovely chicken. So we're going to go through the prisoners first and foremost and see if anybody is worth elevating to, uh, to colonist status. Seeing as most of the drugs are apparently crafted by crafting and not the drug skill, which is very counterintuitive, I think it might be red, given that red over here is... A slow learner. Annoying voice. Of crafting devil passion? I think they're good enough to recruit. Red Condor? Welcome to the team. By which I mean, Red Condor, please for the love of God, join us. Otherwise, otherwise we'll find out what that beat button does. After yesterday's episode, and of course the great bee massacre of yesterday, somebody said that there's a bee called a nocturnal bee, which essentially allows your bees to become dineural. They can work during day and during the night. So, essentially, we can double the production of something like Luciferian if we combine a Luciferian bee and a Nocturnal bee in the same hive. The only problem is, to get the best bee house, we do need to regulate temperature. So, I'm thinking we just need to build a big old fuck-off greenhouse at this point, eh? I'm thinking we just put a wall around this entire thing. We could maybe divert the path around to the restaurant that kills people. What did someone buy? 35? How the fuck did someone buy a meal and pay for it? <laughs> uh, that's very strange, given that the cyanide does kill them when they eat it. I'm not sure how they managed to pay. Maybe they put it in their backpack to take with them. That's incredible. Do I have a slight issue before we can build the big fuck off greenhouse? We haven't got any steel, nor do we have any slate blocks, nor do we have any blocks at all. The only building material we've got in abundance is diamond. <laughs> Suppose we can build it out of plastic instead. Maybe that's a little more practical. A diamond bee house is pretty big tick energy though, isn't it? How many diamonds have we got again? Uh, 144, you say? Well. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused. I actually wondered where Yuri, the Highland crew that we saved yesterday, ended up. Uh, turns out, for some reason, it's in a storage port in the middle of the fields. You know, I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> well, in some good news, the restaurant that kills people is actively killing people. Occasionally, when I pan over, there would just be, you know, someone's hat and all of the silver they were carrying left on the floor. <laughs> Should keep an eye on it a little bit more and uh, and kind of watch the visitors that they come in. We've got another group coming in now. That's what reminded me to check. So we'll uh, we'll watch these guys and see. Excuse me. Doesn't seem to be anybody there. Oh, no, wait, look. There they are. Oh, weird. I just sort of thought that was a floating nameplate for a second. What's going on with this? Are we not going to tidy up these corpses, Fat Larry? You've quite literally got one job in this colony besides, you know, peddling a ridiculous amount of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can only assume they were rival factions. My favorite part is 
as soon as they got shot and dropped all their shit, Pablo stole their opals and Joris ate their lunch. <laughs> I think Pablo just mugged that man. <laughs> They're still fighting. What is wrong with you people? Are these the Outlanders? Is that why? Are they oh, yeah. Okay. Coastal towns like these are the Outlanders. So they've got a minus 80 opinion of these guys. Wow. They didn't even have to get into the restaurant to die anymore. We've really streamlined the process. <laughs> oh. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a single crumb of luciferium 10 grams of it right there how much is the market value on luciferium 70 is that it oh well that's a bit disappointing especially given that we can grow a plant and have it immediately turn into an opium pipe when we chop it up out of the ground so yesterday i had big dreams for the colony that were unfortunately interrupted repeatedly by a bunch of bloody raiders so today i've got i, I want to set out a very clear checklist i know it's probably a bit late to do this now a clear checklist of things we need to get done for today Number one, faction uniforms. We've got Dub's paint shop. Everybody's wearing the same thing, but I feel like we need to we need to really make it a bit more on brand with, with Legal Lee. So we're going to go ahead and repaint all of their flak jackets, all of their armor here too for Legal Lee and Fat Larry and make it a bit more of a, a nice unified feeling. Second thing I want to do is finish off this bloody gold floor, which is going to take forever at the rate we're going. So we've got 608 gold from Salviation and we've got another 540... God damn, is that all? 543 from Methadome. That might just get, you know, maybe three or four more tiles done. And along with Legal Lee's lovely diamond walls and golden floor, we do need that ivory furniture to accompany it. So I'm going to increase hunting. I've changed the manageable actually ahead of time here to only focus on elephants. Indian elephants and uh, I guess just regular old elephants there as well. The priority is now up to maximum too. So that's going to be... That's going to be a real mess. I can see that going horribly wrong. The big thing is a kind of climatized, for lack of better word, greenhouse. So as I kind of brought up last time, with the bees, it is faster to use the bee houses rather than the climatized bee houses. These confer that kind of work bonus. It's 25%, I think it was, yeah, 25% faster on honeycomb production. If we combo that with the nocturnal bees, we're knocking off a good 75% from our production sandwiches. Although I guess it might apply afterwards. But anyway... It's going to be a lot of of time saved on Luciferium. We might be able to make an actual good Luciferium farm at that point. Still need to get those industrial bees, those alloy bees beforehand, though. So that's going to take a little while, I think. We, what was it? Like amalgam and hybrid. Um, let's extract you. Do we have a... We don't have an amalgam drone yet. Damn. Okay. This could take a little while, then. We got any in here? We got, like, an amalgam... We could swap out one of our beehives from amalgam queen, I guess, and put a pause on the Luciferium production. It's a little bit of a shame, but it will speed things up in the long term. Oh, my friends. Eighth Infantry Division. Bloody hell, there's a lot of them. Right on time for the newly repainted, mustard-colored Legal Lee's Legal Bees faction. Best Buy is we can call ourselves Legal Lee's Legal Bees, and it's not technically false advertising anymore. Look at this. They're bringing the ivory to us. What a guy. Yes. Pray tell why you have a Warhammer, Caius, and not a fucking gun. God, I hate him. That elephant is just fucking gone. <laughs> All the animals are just off immediately. To be fair, I don't really blame him. Bloody hell, that's a lot of people. Jesus, that was probably like 70 people. Say hello to Macho Man Randy Savage for me. Doesn't seem like a very appropriate thing for an army man to say. Well, this is probably going to be... um. Did he say... Say hello to my old-fashioned rifle. Horrifying. What are they doing? They've kind of started standing behind our sandbags, but it hasn't helped at all. Also, they're all on fire? Does the... Does the golden minigun light people on fire? No way. How strange. Well, never mind. They're done for now. The best part is, Fat Larry doesn't have to cremate them. They've done that themselves. Oh, you're not going to try that, are you? Brilliant. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. Uh, the answer is badly. <laughs> oh, no, what the fuck are you doing? She's beating up this prisoner. Work type breaking. What is she doing? This is brutality. That lower lowers prisoner resistance. Prisoner break interval never. Yeah, I'm not really surprised. Well. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's it's crude, but effective. You can't argue with that. Uh, 
the Sloaner? <laughs> you are. You're a real fucking piece of work, Sloaner. How is it we build skylights? I think you use the smoke glass from four steel. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much sense that makes, but I won't complain too much. Let's throw together like... I mean, what's it for a 3x3 skylight? Three glass. That's uh, not really surprising, is it? Oh, there we go. 1,095 gold. Okay. One of them was industrious. I'm not entirely sure which one. They're all... I guess it was our steel tithe, actually. Well, that is a shitload of steel. Wow. Long last. There it is. We finally got our hybrid drone back after they all... They all burned to death yesterday. 43. Well, 44 Lucifer drones. Jesus. Wow. So we combine, I believe it's the Amalgam Queen and the Hybrid Drone that starts making potentially the Nocturnal Drone that we're after. But to recap, Technological Bee, which we need for the components to build the Beehives, is Hybrid and Amalgam. So we've got potential to get one of those now. And then the Nocturnal Bee is Adaptive and Amalgam. Adaptive we get from this combo as well. So we've, we've got everything we need, basically. It's just a case of, uh, of getting lucky at this stage. There he is. Red, or as he is now known... Fed Smoker. Genuinely a requested name and it couldn't be any more appropriate seeing as poor old, uh, don't tell me. Poor old chicken. <laughs> poor dear chicken, someone close to my heart. Seeing as they were killed by the feds, I think this is a very appropriate replacement for them. Also, we need to, we also need to get them the proper faction uniform there. This isn't good enough. There we go. Good as new. Now, you might have noticed, along with the faction uniform, I've given everybody a faction weapon, uh, inspired by the man himself, Big Fat Larry. I've decided let's just give everybody a fucking minigun. Honestly, why not? Why not? It's just gonna be... horrible. <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to justify it. It's gonna be interesting. I think it'll be quite fun. Artificial ecosystems might be a little bit too expensive to power at this point, but when we finish Legal Lee's giant golden house, we could build... I suppose we could build a nuclear reactor in there too. I know last time we had what? Like a, like a massive oil refinery in Legal Lee's house. I do think a nuclear reactor is slightly bigger dick energy. Oh, look, we can build those new coil guns from Vanilla Weapons Expanded. Those would be very, very cool, especially with Yeo's combat too, where... Armor penetration is key. Penetrating thick armor and piercing through targets are light. I could get behind that. Everybody equipped with a coil gun rather than a minigun. Oh, look there. Advanced power sources for the advanced solar panels. Although I do like the idea of the whole base running off of these. I really do. Maybe we could just expand this out a little bit. Oh, come on, really? I was going to say we need to give Fed Spoker time to recover after Sloan had beat the shit out of him to convince him to join us. Uh, what I didn't realize is in the process, Sloaner crushed his eye, mangled another, bruised his torso by hitting him with a minigun, and, uh, knocked off three of his toes. One's on another foot, which is very concerning. Oh my god, his sight is zero? That took it down to one out of ten. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Sloaner. Blind the prisoners until you force him to join us. Very good. Holy crap, all the moisture pumps are done. I never thought I'd see the day. How are we looking on moisture? Oh, very dry, just the way I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems to be going well. Let's send Fat Larry out with 250 kilograms of Yayo, and along the way, hopefully find some gold? <clears throat> and hopefully find some gold, because I'll be honest with you, if I had to look at this fucking floor any longer, I'm gonna lose my mind. Don't get me wrong, the mustard minigun squad look cool and all, but I am not entirely confident with whatever it is Min's about to do with that minigun and these elephants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Dumbo, I'm sorry. Well, it fucking worked. You can't complain. Uh, oh, no, this is another person. Well, good luck, Trozzy. Holy shit, let's hope we don't get a full-on manhunter pack. Otherwise, that could be a... <laughs> We've got to go on a crossfire. <laughs> Just the way God intended. <laughs> wow, they are annihilating them. Holy crap, this is incredible. Now, that one, that one I'm not so confident about. Dong? Time to start packing. Why has he got two miniguns? <laughs> what a guy. Oh, God, Dong. Oh, God, Dong's in trouble. Uh, everybody, save Dong. Please save Dong. For God's sake, save Dong. Okay. I was a bit, I was a bit touch and go there. Oh, is he, he's actually fine. He's actually fine. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Never stops blowing my mind. What, given, given how much people love their, their stay in our hotel. Oh, it's just incredible. Free breads, free food. I haven't got any meals right now. They're just leaving us so much stuff behind. We're making such a profit from this place. 
It's incredible. Oh. Well, I thought someone was coming over to save Dong, and I quickly realized, oh, it's okay, Caius is on it. They picked up all the elephants from around him and left him flailing on the floor. <laughs> Big fat Larry. Let's sell him some drugs. Uh, wow, okay. They haven't got any... Wait, what do you mean they haven't got any silver? My... They haven't got any silver? Oh my god, they haven't... I guess they haven't regenerated from last time we came to Vizay. Well, let's buy all their gold. Um, have they got anything they can just give us? Trading drugs for... Like, an engraved elephant tusk. They'll look incredible in Liga Lee's room. A hemp biocomposite grand meditation throne. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> we could build it out of elephant tusks, sure. The purest, finest, bloodiest ivory. Or we build it out of pure, full-on drugs. That's incredible. A nose for Fat Larry. Oh, man, this has actually been incredible. Um, I don't think we really need anything else from them. We do, someone did point this out. We do have a tech print for jump packs too, which I do intend on using at some point. Look, just give us your, give us the things that you saw. Give us your medicine. Uh, give us your advanced components too. And we'll take back some of our drugs here, but I think that's an incredible trade. That's that's a great deal for us, especially the gold. I guess we'll send Larry on to the town over as well. Oh, elephant revenge, you could have guessed. Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? How many have we, uh, how many have we butchered? Oh, those are the ones in the, in the storage as well. You know, we actually genuinely might be able to build legally a full house of... It's not okay. He's only just been rescued. What the hell, guys? What the hell were you doing out there? We might genuinely be able to build, legally, that full house of ivory. I said it as kind of a joke. Well, then again, he's got a solid gold floor, so it's not that much of a step up, is it? Kind of worried we haven't got much mass left on the caravan. We need to train up some animals capable of carrying stuff, don't we? Because if we trade all this, uh, all this yayo for silver, how are we looking? Oh, is that all we've got left? 31? Oh, wow. To be fair, that's not terrible. Um, damn, I should have bought more drugs in hindsight. Shit. These guys have got 1,100 Well, sorry, 11,432 left over. I'll have to do another run. They've got an Arcotech arm. Oh, God. Uh, that'd be quite nice to get. And a bit more gold to take back as well. Right, let's get Fat Larry home. We'll probably send him down to here next, I think. We'll hit these three settlements. Ideally, building roads would be fantastic. We have the ability to do that, and there's no reason why... Let's check the cost of it out and see how much it would be to build a road between, like, here and here, and then we'll send an offshoot down there, I guess. Let's just kind of get Fat Larry onto this next tile. Um, let's put him, like, uh... Send him here. And then I think when he's stopped... There we are. Construct. Glitter Road. Wow, those are expensive. Holy shit. So for each tile of Glitter Road, 360 blocks, 900 steel, 300 chem fuel. Oh, shit. Well, sod that. I think we'll just build a regular old... Oh, we can build a regular dirt path for 200. Dirt Road is just 120 wood. Oh, I could really be persuaded to do that. Oh, hey. Right on cue. So Fat Larry's about to get home, but we'll send... I guess we'll just send Legal Leeds going trade with this. It's not really that much difference in terms of social skill. See if they've got any gold. For the love of God, I cannot spend another episode on this floor. I'll lose my mind. Yes. No. <laughs> 24 apiece? Fuck it. Sold. Sold. That's fine. Did I just sell that? No, I didn't. Oh my God. I had a moment there for a second where I couldn't see it on the landing pad and thought I'd sold them that by accident. A new tax tithe came in. I think that was nearly 1,700 gold then with all three of them going, hello, the healer's hand. No, thank you. We're okay. So what I'm going to do next is, um, oh, poor Larry is so tired. It's a, it's a difficult life he's got going out there peddling all these drugs. Where's destruction? Uh... <laughs> destruction has a name, and his name is Caius. There is actual destruction, though, because I want to want to get the stuff unpacked from him. Then I want to send Larry out with, honestly, a shitload of wood so that we can get Larry building roads. But remember, Larry has a pretty good construction skill. Sorry, crack Joris. I meant crack Joris. I said destruction. I think you, I think you know what I meant. Uh, you know, there's 38 more gold to go with our thousand. 38 gold is just over half of a tile, by the way. Fat Larry has not only built roads into my heart, but it also built roads absolutely everywhere so that we can peddle drugs. That's the road I want to try and aim to get, because that should be the, the fastest, right? It doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously, if we go for where the game says to go, it will take us through the road that already exists. But this would be slightly faster. I mean, sure, not factoring in the amount of time it actually takes to dig the bloody road. So let's head up to there first, and then let's send Fat Larry... Any animals that can carry anything. I won't even get Fat Larry to ride, ride an animal. I just want to send as much as possible in terms of uh, in, in terms of wood so that we can build this as much as we can. We can only take 746. So we're not going to get many roads built with this. What was it? 300 per, per road? 400? 800? I don't remember. It doesn't really matter too much. Right. Send it. Oh. Shit. Sure, no, I <laughs> forgot to send. 
got to send Larry. Okay, there we go. We're, we're not going to have enough resources to do all of those. They were 200 each, something like that. I honestly don't remember now. Um... But we should get a we should get a good amount of weather, and of course, the more weather we build, the faster it's obviously to get back and get more resources, food or whatever else. Pretty sure in the research tree somewhere, I have no idea where it is, is an a, a, a machine, a building, an item, something like that that lets you build roads without the material cost. I have the life of me remember what it's called, but if we get that, that would be really really helpful for running like these. Uh, there it is, this thing here. That's the construction of advanced in situ. Whatever that means. Road. Resource gatherer. Well, I have no idea what any of that is. Uses local resources when building roads. Completely eliminated the need to bring wood, stone, steel, chem fuel, plastic, and uranium at the cost of twice the work. So I assume we send that with a caravan? I have no idea. Um, obviously, it's going to be a very long time before we actually get up to that to uh, to test it out. Oh, there it is. A new, mu new mutant bee nocturnal has been created in the hybridization chamber. Ah, oh, someone just grabbed it, I think. Yeah, there it is. Hey, nice. Okay. So we need to put one of those. In fact, why don't we swap this out like immediately? Extract you and drop the Nocturnal Queen in straight away. Put that on the floor. Right. And then Nocturnal Queen. There we are. Hey, shit. That's fantastic. So all we need now is our technological bees, which, by the way, happen to be stocked up in here. I was going to kind of, you know, forget about it for a minute and let Fat Larry build the roads, but he's just run out of bloody resources. After we've got these producing a good amount of the the components which is going to take a little while well actually what we could do is we could wait until this starts spitting out nocturnal drones put some of those in with the uh, which way round is it is it the drones that produce the honeycomb i assume so uh so maybe we put a nocturnal uh queen in with technological drones and they'll make the components that we need in half the time uh, assuming that we've got this all set up obviously i want to put another drone in there first to uh Help facilitate the breeding time. A restaurant at 175 today. I'm not entirely sure how because we didn't have any meals. Uh oh, apparently we did. Gourmet meal lamp. Oh. <laughs> Why well, yes, the restaurant does in fact kill people. I'm gonna assume cyanide. Yeah, cyanide and uh and cyanide. Wow, the restaurant is working so fucking. Look at them all. It's working so well. Best day of my life. This is the best thing we've ever done in RimWorld. Oh, do my eyes deceive me. Oh, we've got a load of... We've got a load of spare gold. We might be able to do the bedroom as well. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I want to commit to this. I'm not sure my heart can take any more gold. 6,000? What the fuck? How much was this room then? Oh, man, there's no wonder it took so fucking long. That's what we could do with the rest of the gold. We could build legally some golden ruined columns. <laughs> this is the height of decadence. I mean, we've built some crazy shit in, in RimWorld, but this one, this one might just be my favorite. Oh, bucko. Holy crap. Hello, bucko drink. Only 26 of them. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Uh, we've got 28 there, and then we've got another, what, 20? Oh, exactly 20 up there. Pirates versus miniguns. It's the fight you've always wanted, but didn't know you needed until now. What are they shooting at? Are they shooting a lamp? I love lamp. Well, I did. Urscht. Ron Urscht. Oh, God, it's a skeleton wearing sunglasses. <laughs> There's Fat Larry. Fat Larry, stay there. Honestly, stay there. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, honestly, a lot of our allies are um, pretty pissed off with us right now, to be honest, because of, well, because of exactly this. Holy crap, we could put down a lot of firepower. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is going to be insane. I'm a big fan of the Total Minigun Squad. Wow, that is, um... That's actually working. I'm kind of, kind of surprised. I thought it would be so inaccurate that they'd actually get through, but I suppose we can cover just such... An intense area. Having, obviously, the, the, the one block pass through as well works perfectly. Holy crap. You know what? This might be my go-to. This is this is fantastic. Wow. What a hypnotized by this. This is incredible. Look at our team. Single survivor. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Uh, shot by a minigun. Oh, really? I wouldn't have possibly guessed. Six crafting. Chemical fascination. You sound like the perfect candidate for my drugs lab. A replacement for uh, for Fed Smoker now that he's broken out. Oh, 30 glasses done as well. Hey, another step closer to 
pure Luciferian production. Now, I assume the bee houses can't overlap in terms of their, uh, in terms of their area. Well, I don't know about that, because those two have... Maybe they're, maybe they're more efficient if they have more things access to, because obviously they've got the, uh, blocks in the center there. So when we build a proper full-on Luciferium greenhouse, we'll probably use this area down here. We'll try and, we'll try and cover as much ground as possible. Obviously, this one is quite heavily cut off there. Still want this set up as a bare minimum, though, so we've always got some Luciferian production no matter what happens. So let's get, and, and maybe even a Luciferian bee breeding area, for lack of a better word. So let's get all of this down. Although I think we've got, what, like 60 bees right now? 660 of the Luciferian bees? Yeah, 64. Hey, Larry's back. Hello, Larry. Right, let's get you with, uh, oh, maybe we should burn these bodies. <laughs> oh, come on. Fat Larry's caravan has been ambushed by two scurvy sea dogs from Bilge Pier. They will attack unless you give them six packaged lava meals and a cat's fright helmet worn by Fat Larry. Uh, how about, no. The one is hat. Hey, Reem Grove. I've got a great idea. There's a guy over there wearing full cataphract armor and exoskeleton suit and has a giant bear and a giant rhino as his companions. Won't we fucking rob him? Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Let's see how far they get. Well, there's one dead. <laughs> well, that was, um... Massively big brain. Oh, good God. <laughs> I genuinely thought somehow the roof had caved in. Uh, that's just a straight up oil smell, isn't it? Oh, so if oil wells break down, they leak oil everywhere. I mean, in some ways, it does make a lot of sense. Fuck. I wonder if it's easy just to ignite it. Uh, what is it? Industrial? Uh, clean spill. Yeah. Yeah, please do. Slona, for fuck's sake, please fix this. Oh, there's an ignite button. Oh, you can't give me that. What happens if I do that? I assume we'll lose this entire room's worth of stuff. Oh, it's so tempting. I'll tell you what, as a bonus thing to do later. There, I've saved it, okay? So now, if we want to just, just do it, maybe it's a laugh. Maybe it's the post-credits thing. I'll see what happens when we light it on fire. Because I've never done that before with... <laughs> with Rimmer fella. <laughs> oh. Caius and Min? Caius wooed Min by comparing her to a charming pine tree. <laughs> uh, hey. You are a charming pine tree. What? Try it at home. Looking for that special someone? Why not compare them to a charming pine tree? But Larry may destroy communities. But he also builds communities. Look at this. Look at what we've achieved here today. Easy drug access and connections for these infrastructure. We're a, you, people say that Legal Lee's a bad guy and, you know, facilitates all this drug peddling. And Fat Larry's an awful guy who, you know, gets communities hooked on drugs. So they become reliant on Legal Lee and his industry. But you've got to admit, they also save. Well, I've had Sloaner and friends while Fat Larry's been out building... <laughs> I've had them build alternate entrances into the base as well. Um, because they are still walled over, the enemies will still come through the kill box, well, the not kill box, rather than go through these kind of alternate entrances we've got into the compound. But that way, trade caravans and mainly Fat Larry coming in and out of the base can get in here a lot sooner. Otherwise, before he was like coming down, uh, or he was say picking up the stuff from here, going out, following this entire wall round, and then going south. So we should save him uh, a little bit of time too. Today has all been about expediting. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> wow, it really do be killing people, eh? Holy shit. Anyway, uh, today's been all been about expediting. Expediting people being killed. Expediting trade caravans. Expediting trade caravans. More importantly, the bee industry. We've got the two nocturnal bees that we need to... Oh, we've got a nocturnal bee and an adaptive drone there. We might even have... Yeah, we've got an actual nocturnal drone there. So that allows us to cut our Luciferian production time down by half, I assume. That in combination with the bee houses, which we're going to be able to build when we start getting some honeycomb from these technological drones, will allow us to really maximize our Luciferium output. Then, with our new roads and our new caravan paths going out of our base... And the new Luciferian production, we can peddle the hardest drug of them all. 
Luciferium. What a what a victory. This has been fantastic for really laying the foundations of things. And then, of course, on the subject of foundations too, we have finally built Legal Lee's golden mansion. His, uh, his throne room, given that he's got his hemp biocomposite thrown there too. I'm going to put down a regular old cream carpet there too. And I've also upgraded his bed to a golden ergonomic double bed because we had a lot of golds uh, left over there too. So I've thrown one of those down. In fact, we've got six bio interface components. Damn, we've already picked up two already. Then we'll start outfitting it with ivory, and then we will make our millions. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for after the credits for me lighting fire to all that oil and seeing just what happens. Please watch the credits, please. My YouTube retention rate goes through the floor when the end credits start, and it's having a genuine impact on things. Uh, so, <laughs> please, <laughs> please watch. I sometimes throw funny jokes in too. I don't just read out a list of names. M most of the time I do, but sometimes there's also funny humor injected too. A big thank you to the executive producer patrons of today, including Emily, Sol and Breen, I Stab Cows, Viazine, Feral, House Cat, Andrew DeGaran, Pang Power, TG Taps, Zaka, Altari, Gammon Jude, and Nildreth for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. A big thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place, and a thank you as well to. Lucius Martius, Infectious, Stonecrow, Mr. Awesome, Smurtworm, Kragon, Spongy Bomb Monster, Scott, Ad Infinitas, Avalka, Larry the Emu, Omegador, Proximity Jones, Remdul, KG Evans, Lilac, and Flom as well. See you all tomorrow for Luciferium? Anybody plans to taste of Luciferium? And ivory furniture? All right, here you go. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Oh god, Sloaner. Get out of there. Holy fuck, that spreads fast. Wow. Oh god. Wow, wow, wow. That spreads really fast. Holy crap. Legally! And it explodes too. Wow, okay. That makes a lot of sense. I wonder what happens if these things catch fire. Do you want to... Do you think we should test that out? Fucking hell, that burns well. Jesus. And there go our workbenches too. Very glad I didn't burn that down in the actual save. Oh, and because of the superheated air, it's going to rip through this entire building. Wow, we hit a thousand degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit, which I assume is like a thousand degrees Fahrenheit is what, like 10 degrees Celsius? Go on then. What happens if we do that? I assume they just kind of... Yeah, that's a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping that would explode like an anti grain warhead or something, you know? That is a little disappointing. Oh no, Pablo! <laughs> the actual chem fuel explodes with a bit more, um... That one explodes with a bit more veracity.